Hi everyone, Connie Stewart with SimplySimpleStamping.com back with another video in my series called Flashcards. Today's card is just a nice, easy, kind of little banner flag card. I'm really excited to share this one because it can be used for just about any occasion, don't you think? Let's get started with today's card. As always, we're going to bring in our flashcard template. Now, if you've not seen the first video uh, explaining how flashcards work, you might want to zip over to YouTube and search Connie Stewart flashcards. It should be the first video to pop up, and we're going to explain all about this fabulous little template. The colors I'm using today are Pink Pirouette and Whisper White, and my card base is also Pink Pirouette, and I've cut that at eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started prepping our flashcard pieces. Now, we're gonna do some cutting on these today, and let me go ahead and bring in my samples here. So to make our banners that we have going down the side of our card, we need to cut our pink pirouette cardstock at one and a quarter, one inch, which will leave us half an inch. So very simple, we've got those pieces right here. On our white cardstock, just one cut. We just need to cut off one and three quarters of an inch, leaving us three quarters of an inch. All right, so we've got those pieces ready to go. Let's go ahead and bring in our pink pirouettes. Now to save some time, I went ahead and did the stamping in advance. I used the Lacy and Lovely stamp set. Uh, here I stamped in Melon Mambo. On this one, I stamped in Pretty in Pink. And on this one, I stamped in Pink Pirouette. I wanted to have some nice contrast between these. Now, the other thing, I really didn't want uh, Pink Pirouette on, on Pink Pirouette. So let me show you a little technique I'm going to do to this one here. I'm going to come in with a stamping sponge and some Pretty in Pink, Pretty in Pink ink, because I want to deepen this. And I'm just going to come in and darken up this cardstock. So again, we get that really nice contrast that we need. Not enough that it's gonna cover up my stamped image, but enough that we're gonna get that nice contrast. All right, um, so those pieces are done. Oh, I've gone ahead here on the, um, the uh, one with the Melon Mambo and I sponged around those edges so we have a nice pop there. Okay, well let's go ahead and start to create the banner. Um, on this first one, we do need to cut a little bit off, you know, because we don't want the flags touching. So we're gonna Cut a little notch out of this and because it will drive me crazy if that's not sponged I'll come in and sponge that um, with the next one just whack off a little bit more on that one and cut out our little notch okay easy enough now we're gonna go ahead and attach these onto our card base and as you can see I did go ahead and come along and I've um, pre-sponged the edges of the card base in pretty and pink also just again trying to give it that nice pop of color so let's add our flags and that way you can see what I'm talking about on that nice contrast with the now pretty and pink on top of the pink pirouette ink see how nice that is okay so we've got those done let's go ahead and come in with our white pieces now this is the little three quarter inch piece that I had left off and of course this is the one the pink pirouette that I stamped and I'm going to show you a little trick if you will lay these right next to each other center them up and then cut out your flag from here when we go to layer these Turn that around so you can see when we slide that up look at that it's going to be a perfect uh, match so i like that so let me go ahead and stamp on this though i'm going to be using the stamp set so sorry and in melon mambo let's see i gotta make sure i'm gonna do that right i better turn this around sorry guys i just have to see things you know what i did i did that incorrectly let's try it that way hey connie's got it now all right i'm going to stamp the phrase Times are tough right now. And I did that in Melon Mambo. Let's go ahead and attach that onto our flag. Like I said, isn't it nice that I don't have to worry about whether or not my little tails will match because they do. Well, would help if you pressed it down, Connie. We'll try that again. Okay, now that is a little long, so we are going to cut that off. And now I really wanted this to kind of pop off of my um, card a little bit. So I like to bring in my Stampin' Dimensional Bones. I'm 
I know, you're probably going bones. Okay, well, these are those little edges left over from Stampin' Dimensionals. Never throw those away because they're just perfect for things like that, don't you think? All right, we'll peel off the back. And let's add this to our card. All right, now let's do a little stamping here. We'll get the so sorry that times are tough right now. And I'm going to stamp that in Melon Mambo right there. I thought I'd come in with the pink pirouette and just add a couple flowers right there. And um, with that same sponge that I sponged earlier, I'm just going to bring in, I just want that to pop just a tiny bit more. So I'm using the um, Pretty in Pink on that, just bringing that out there a little bit. Well, now we still have this piece left over from our flashcard. So I decided I'd come in and stamp with the uh, Papillon Potpourri. And I'm going to be using the Elegant Butterfly Punch. And I'm going to punch out. I've got one in Melon Mambo and one in Pretty in Pink. And we'll punch those out. Now let's add those to our card just to really give it some... Something pretty to look at. All right, we'll get this last one. And let's put that one about, oh, so hard to do this upside down, don't you think? There we go, how about that? <laughs> All right, well one, I just have to do one last little thing. I love Stampin' Up Swipe gel pens. They are the best. Well, I thought this little piece over here could use just a little pop of white. So I'm gonna come in with a white gel pen and just kind of give each of those little dots a little white highlight. What do you think? Nice? Are we good? All right. Well, I could also do a little stamping here on the inside of my card as well. And I'm all ready to go. Again, cards in a flash. So easy, so fun. And what's great, they're always ready, ready to go in a flash. Thanks so much for tuning in to today's video. Remember, all the products that I've used today can be found on my website at simplysimplestamping.com. Stampin' Up! has the best products out there, so I hope you'll check it out. Have a great day, everyone. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.